welcome to the channel maths for graduates today we will learn types of isolated singularity so let's start if z equals to a is an isolated singularity of function f of z then by definition of isolated singularity there exists a deleted neighborhood of a in which function f of z is analytic okay so we can have a lorentz expansion inside this neighborhood suppose lorentz expansion of function f of z is summation n equals to 0 to infinity a n z minus a raised to power n plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity some constant b n into z minus a raised to power minus n okay this part with negative power of z minus a is known as principal part this principal part decides the type of singularity there are three types of singularity first removable singularity second pole and third essential singularity now let's see what is a removable singularity if if the principal part contains no term that is there is no negative power of z minus a in the expansion of f of z then z equals to a is isolated singularity okay now let's see what is pole if principal part contains a finite number of terms then singularity z equals to a is called pole and if m is 1 then singularity z equals to a is called simple pole not see what is essential singularity if the principal part contains an infinite number of terms that is expansion of f of z has infinite series of negative powers of z minus a then z equals to a is an essential singularity not see some examples to understand this definition first example is f of z equals to sin z over z okay z equals to 0 is it singularity now let's write expansion of this function okay so f of z is 1 over z and expansion of sin z will be z minus z cube over factorial 3 plus z raised to power 5 over factorial 5 and so on okay so on simplifying we have 1 minus z square over factorial 3 plus z raised to power 4 over factorial 5 minus and so on now you can see there is no negative power of z hence z equals to 0 is removable singularity now see next example we have f of z equals to cos z over z square okay and here again z equals to 0 is singularity now writing the expansion for this function so we have f of z equals to 1 over z square expansion of cos z is 1 minus z square over factorial 2 plus z raised to power 4 over factorial 4 minus z raised to power 6 over factorial 6 and so on okay so on multiplying we have 1 over z square minus 1 over factorial 2 plus z square over factorial 4 minus 
z raised to power 4 over factorial 6 and so on okay so here we have negative powers of z okay here power of z is minus 2 hence z equals to 0 is a pole of order 2 now see one more example f of z equals to e raised to power 1 over z okay here again z equals to 0 is singularity now writing the expansion for this function so expansion of e raised to power x is we know that so we can write expansion for e raised to power 1 over z will be 1 plus 1 over z plus 1 over factorial 2 z square plus 1 over factorial 3 z cube and so on okay and here you can see there are infinite numbers of terms with negative power of z hence by definition z equals to 0 is an essential singularity i hope everything is clear to till now let's see another technique to determine the type of singularity in this method we do not require Lorentz expansion of the function so this is one of the benefit of this method now let's learn this method if z equals to z naught is isolated singularity of function f of z then limit z tends towards z naught f of z if this exists finitely then we have removable singularity and if this limit equals to infinity then we have pole and if this limit does not exist finitely or infinitely then we have essential singularity now let's see some examples in the first example we have function f of z equals to e raised to power z over sin z okay and this function is not defined when this sin z becomes zero so let's find singularities for this function okay so if sin z becomes 0 then this function f of z is not defined ok so from here we get z equals to n pi where n is integer ok so z equals to n pi are singularities for this function ok alright now for case n equals to 0 we have z equals to 0 singularity right let's find limit z tends towards 0 f of z equals to limit z tends towards 0 f of z is e raised to power z over sin z okay okay and we know that limit z tends towards 0 sin z over z is 1 okay so using this we have e raised to power 1 okay and it is finite right hence z equals to 0 is removable singularity not c for case 2 that is if n is not equals to 0 ok then limit z tends towards n pi here n pi is the singularity ok so f of z this equals to limit z tends towards n pi 
f of z is e raised to power z over sin z okay let's put limit we have e raised to power n pi over sin n pi okay and we know that sin n pi is zero okay so we have e raised to power infinity okay and some student may write e raised to power infinity is infinity okay but this does not happen in complex okay so e raised to power infinity means it does not exist okay hence z equals to n pi and here n is not equal to 0 is essential singularity not see one more example so in this example we have function f of z equals to e raised to power z minus 1 over z into z minus 2 okay and this function is not defined when the denominator becomes 0 that is z into z minus 2 equals to 0 okay when denominator becomes 0 then this function f of z is not defined okay so from here we get z equals to 0 and 2 okay so these are the singularities let's see what kind of singularities are they so for z equals to 0 limit z tends towards 0 f of z this equals to limit z tends towards 0 f of z is e raised to power z minus 1 over z into z minus 2 okay and you can see this is 0 over 0 form right now you can use l hospital rule okay so on applying l hospital rule we have differentiating numerator we get e raised to power z and on differentiating denominator we get 2z minus 2 right okay now let's put limit we get e raised to power 0 means 1 over minus 2 and you can see this limit is finite right hence z equals to 0 is a removable singularity now let's see for the second singularity for z equals to 2 finding limit z tends towards 2 f of z this equals to limit z tends towards 2 f of z is e raised to power z minus 1 over z z minus 2 okay so on putting limit we get e square minus 1 over 2 0 and we know that some finite value over 0 we get infinity okay so limit is infinity that means we have pole here right so z equals to 2 is a pole okay I hope you have learned how to determine the types of singularity. Now this video ends here and I have a quick announcement to make those students who are preparing for exams like CSR net, GATE and other MSc intense examination can buy a complex analysis handwritten notes for a very reasonable price for only rupees 50. So if you are interested you can contact us through this WhatsApp number. Thank you. Thanks for watching.